In Minsk, police arrested dozens as supporters of Maria Kolesnikova demanded her freedom. Over the weekend, as she marched against President Alexander Lukashenko, she was asked if she was afraid of being targeted. No, I'm not worried. I'm very safe. But it now appears Belarus's secret police tried to forcibly get her out of the country, first by abducting her and then blackmailing two of her colleagues to drive her to Ukraine. In the end, they went but she did not. The plan was to make it look like she was abandoning her cause, they said, but instead she tore up her passport into pieces so she couldn't leave Belarus. The move earned her praise from a fellow protest leader. I'm really proud of Maria, if it is true that she uh, didn't let her to kick out of, out of the country, you know. She's a brave woman. Belarus's president spent the day talking to Russian TV stations, spinning it that Kolesnikova was running away and talking about himself in the third person. If Lukashenko collapses, the whole system will collapse, he said. Western nations have struggled to exert much influence on Lukashenko and the often violent conduct of his security forces. Canada is urging dialogue. That's where Canada is trying to make a difference is to establish a dialogue between the leading opposition candidates and uh, the Lukashenko regime. I made that demand uh, to uh, the foreign minister when I talked to him. Lukashenko says he will not talk to his opponents, nor, crucially, does the Kremlin think he should. Tonight, he confirmed that Kolesnikova is still detained. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow.